Seven game developers quit their job at Tencent, one of the biggest tech giants in China, to chase their dream. A dream of making a AAA title badass game on the levels of games like Red Dead Redemption and God of War. Ten years later, the game makes around $600 million in just three days of its launch. The studio is Game Science and the game is Black Myth Wukong. Keep watching the video because I'm going to talk about five great things that I experienced in this game that makes this epic RPG a must play. So this weekend I managed to play Black Myth Wukong which is taking the world by storm. The gaming world is crazy behind this one game. I wanted to make this video to share my personal experience that I had playing this game. To share my overall experience, I am going to sum it up in five things that I liked about this game. Number one is jaw-dropping visuals. The game leverages Unreal Engine 5 to create the graphics that pushes the boundaries of realism and creativity. Every scene is crafted with incredible detail, be it the huge environments or the real life like characters in the game. This technology enables dynamic lighting, advanced uh, textures and the depth that creates an immersive experience for anybody who plays this game. This experience really feels breathtaking and real. Because of this thing, it, it really helped me connect with the game at a different level because it was very, very a real experience while you're playing the game. Number two is innovative combats. Wukong introduces a groundbreaking combat system with more than 70 transformations. Each transformation has a unique ability that you can adopt and then use according to your strategy. This blend of strategy, uh, action and skills together creates a really engaging experience. Players can actually adapt their approach to each battle uh, combining different types of these transformations and abilities uh, to kill the bosses according to what they feel is right. Mind you, there are way too many bosses in the game and uh, these characters are larger than life. They look like larger than life characters uh, and you feel like a very tiny character in front of them. But as you play the game, you feel like you're learning a lot of things while you're playing it and then implementing them uh, and you creating your own as strategy to kill those bosses. Number three is the cultural aspect, the Chinese mythology. Wukong offers an immersive exploration of ancient legends, bringing the Chinese mythology to life. It draws inspiration from the classic tale of uh, Journey to the West. The game showcases an authentic narrative uh, to the mythical lore. Players are transported into a world where the traditional stories uh, are reimagined into modern storytelling providing a really, really a fresh experience while still keeping the cultural aspect intact. Personally, I am a big, big fan of learning new cultures. Uh, so this particular thing kept me hooked onto the game for a long time. We've also seen the global gaming audience uh, wanting to play a lot more games from different cultures, which is where at Underdogs also we are building a game called Mukti, which is based on, um, which has a backdrop basically of Indian culture, uh, mythological aspect, uh, a lot of spiritual angles to it. Uh, but here we are talking about human trafficking. So uh, when we talk about cultural aspects, a lot of new games coming out with, with uh, different kinds of culture and a lot of players globally are eager to play these games. That's one of the reasons why Japanese games did really well in the last three to four years. And that exactly is one reason why Wukong with a great, great, great storytelling storyline, basically uh, from the Chinese uh, mythology um, has stand out really well. And people are literally loving the game for that. Number four is emotions. The game revolves around perseverance, uh, sacrifice and self discovery. It resonates deeply with the players as you journey through the game. Uh, a lot of moments uh, of reflection and personal struggle uh, you encounter throughout the game. Basically mirroring the protagonist's uh, struggle for personal identity. A few moments in the game were really really emotional and you have a sense of gratification in every thing that you do throughout the game. Be it beating the bosses or reaching to a stage. Uh, where there's a very heavy cutscene that tells you the story behind whatever you have been doing throughout uh, the stage. Lastly, it's an immersive world to explore. 
you get to dive into the richly detailed environments, be it uh, the dense forests or um, unique ancient temples. Um, in every environment, there is a lot of surprising elements and uh, there are a lot of rewards that you actually get through uh, whatever exploration that you do throughout the game. So it's quite rewarding spending time to explore the environment around you. So those are the five things I loved about the game. Uh, but Black Myth Wukong literally is uh, kind of a, a significant cultural milestone uh, showcasing China's ability uh, to compete um, you know, in the AAA industry um, which is pro predominantly led by Japanese and, and Western studios because the game definitely is resonating with the players around the, around the globe. Uh, you can take a look at the numbers also. Uh, it hit the best numbers on Steam for concurrent players when it launched. That's it from my end. I loved playing Black Myth Wukong. Uh, if you are in the gaming industry and if you want to learn a lot of stuff, um, this game is kind of a, a good learning for you. If you want to get into bigger games, uh, there are a lot of tiny details in the game that you need to, uh, you, you understand that you need to take care while you are building a game. Uh, so for us definitely it's a great uh, it was a great learning i personally loved the experience not just as a gamer but as a game developer as well uh, so if you haven't yet uh, played the game uh, just go for it because it's uh, it's worth every penny that you spend on this game uh, if you like the video please hit the like button if you're watching this uh, if you if you you know uh, discovering this channel for the first time um, do subscribe to the channel. Uh, I keep uh, talking about games and the gaming industry um, overall. So do follow me and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode on this channel. Goodbye.